All right, welcome back to another edition of Sling Paint Gaming. Yeah. Oh, hey. I'm way up here. Let's try that again. <laughs> welcome back to another edition of Sling Paint Gaming. Hey, it's a special edition. Yes. You know, we come across... I'm Berto, by the way. I'm Nims. We come across unique items, mm -hmm. and if we like it, we like to share, you know, share it with people, and we came across this... It was actually a good buddy of ours, yep. and we don't like when when people share things with us. Hey, can you share this with us? This and that. If we think it's really cool, we'll try to do a video on it and what have you. If we don't like it, we'll tell you. Yeah, we'll tell you. This was actually pretty cool. It's called the Boss Bag. Yeah, which is basically bag of superior sorting. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually all right. So, so from on. from an outside view, mm -hmm. it's a bag. It's a bag, but. It's not so. One of our good buddies named Mustard. Yeah. All right. He uh, and it was actually one of our old paint uh, paintballing buddies, but he actually plays a lot of uh, games, a lot of tabletop games. He is also a big, huge supporter of a lot of Kickstarter campaigns himself. Yep. So he actually put this on Kickstarter for himself. Yeah. And I like call I like I like to call him the Martha Stewart of paintball <laughs> because he he hand makes a lot, a lot of, stuff. of stuff. But it's quality too. It's not just oh let me like throw, throw something together. together. Yeah, it's I mean the stitching, the 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 materials that he yeah. picks and the quality of the things that he uses is and like when he was in when we were playing paintball, the things that he like you said, he what he would make like he would make his own like marker holsters and this and that and lapel. I mean, just crazy. Yeah, awesome stuff. Yes. Headbands, head wraps, you know, jersey designs, everything. Yeah. So now he he had a common problem that a lot of us gamers did. Yes. And it was you know when you're going when you're playing a game, mm -hmm. whether it be X Wing like we play a majority of. Yes. Or D and D like I used to play. Yep. Or Imperial Assault or Magic or whatever, whatever you play. One of the most common problems that we all have is that storage, storage for our dice, storage for tokens, storage for whatever. And now just what you're holding up, this is what I use. He personally uses this. I personally use this today. This is what I have today. And I just want to show you what's in this bag. And in every tournament and match, I clean up all my tokens because we have to go fast, clean up yeah. all my tokens. And basically, next game, I dump it all out. And it's a pain in the butt because I don't need everything in here. But I it's just, have... It's easy to carry like, around. Yeah, for X-Wing, I got my damage deck in here. Yeah. I got my little droid that holds my my dice for the games in here. And then this is what I do. If I take those two items out... I mean, gonna, we're going to show the different camera angle view here. Let's do this. Poor man's right. view. Yeah, you can see the. This is my desk. This is my computer in front of us. But I do this every match. That's what I do, and I go through all my stuff. Now he's got to sort through all this. I stuff. I got to move this out. Take this away. Oh look, here's all some my dice. Style uh, tokens let me that flip I have. all these over so I can figure out what they are. Right. Uh, dial laser. Dials and stuff. <laughs> all right. Bless me. So and then I got. So this is all how my. My bag looks. I mean, there's stuff and, everywhere, and every, it takes me a good time to set this up. But now I don't need this for every match. Like, I don't need tractor beams for every match. I don't need ion tokens right. for every match. I don't need a lot of this stuff. You know, this like where's that big um, that my decision coin I just had? I don't know. I just saw you two seconds ago. Did I put it back in the bag? There oh, it, is. it is. You know, my you know the, my my tournament thing I want, but I use this as a decision coin. I use this for good luck. I don't need all this stuff out. No. I don't need my, de you know, de so. But you know what would fix that? That. This bag right here. The, I'm getting one of these bad boys because I like it because I get to put my shield tokens. We're both actually going, uh, to, get one. going to get one and not receive one. We're going to buy them. We're going yes. to fund this yes. because we believe in this product. Um, I, I want to show you guys what we can do right here, right now. So watch So this. hold on, hold on. Let's flip this wanna, back up. Let me talk right. about it a little bit. All right, we're going to flip this back so, up. Again, the problem was one central bag mm -hmm. with all the stuff in it. Right. So what Mustard did was he developed and is patenting this bag. Yes. Okay? It has 13 individual storage sections within the bag. Now, you see the, the main central compartment. Yep. You see all these secondary compartments. Yep. What you can't really see on the video is there's actually two more pockets in inside this pocket which yep. is then inside the overall bag mm -hmm. so there are 13 total pockets on this thing that's crazy so what's cool about it so wa watch this 
Like, here's all my shields. All right, damage deck goes right in right the, middle. In the middle. Now, I'm going to put my shields mm -hmm. on one side of the pouch. Okay. I'm going to put my the, the tokens that I don't use the most, like my ions and my tractor beams and what have you. All right, I'm going to put my shields back in here. My ions and my tractor beams that I don't use the most, I'm going to keep them separate and put them in another little pouch. My critical hits, the focuses, the target locks, the ones that I always use... Because of the depending I mean, on the you could I play. you could even like separate them out into individual pockets here. Yeah, I could if there's enough pockets to do that. Yeah. But, there's thirteen. But I can do this. Here's another shield. Goes in the shield section. I'm gonna take all my other tokens that I always play with. Look at that. Done. In there. So now, now they're the all separate. Hits. Now look. All right, I, look. Hey, some more dice. Let's put these in this pocket that doesn't have anything keep else that in separate. there. Oh, you know what? Put the laser beam laser straight in one of those little Laser goes into one of those little pockets. Because we don't use that all the time. All right, see what I mean by little pocket? You see this right here? It's right, right yeah. there. Okay. I like this. And watch this here. Dials in the middle. Dials in the middle. My all the tokens. Okay, I even put little my R2, my good luck R2. And I can put this. Which that thing would even fit in one of the side pockets. Yeah. That's how big these pockets so here, are. So that whole d bag. Okay. Right. Oh, you just need one thing? Oh, here, let me pull the one thing you needed out. Right. And, like, if I wanted to once, if I want, it's big enough for my big hands. All yeah. right? This is key. Because why are you looking over there? I don't know why I'm looking over there. They're they're right there. Hi. It's <laughs> Act now. Let me smile. I think you what got is, me doing it, too. For my big hands, I can pull out all the tokens, put them on the table, and we're done. He's, my big it. hands fitness. I love that because of so, that right there. Now, the other cool thing about this is... Once you cinch this bag, okay, once you get it cinched, mm -hmm. everything stays in its place. Believe me, before this video started, we, we, tested were, it. we were dissecting the crap out of this bag. All right, look, not a single thing moved. Everything's in its I mean, place. it's hard to show this on this video, but honestly, I have no reason to lie. I am, I'm, <laughs> nothing moved. That is one of the awesome things about this bag. I have to bit, this is probably one of the best things that I'm excited about in all the gaming stuff and all the paraphernalia and all the different sortings and trays and all that I stuff. I mean, that that's what's awesome. And the bag was designed and to do that. And it's the same size, like width-wise and everything as this bag, right? But it opens up into this awesome compartmentized type thing. And the cool part about it is he's got different colors. Oh, there's different colors. There's different fabric. There, mm. There's everything. So... Mustard's got a Kickstarter going right now, all right? Yes. Um, at the time of, of this video, there's not a whole lot of time left for the yes. initial backers, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be doing um, other waves. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to link this uh, Kickstarter Check, definitely in, the description below. in the description and comments below. You'll see a video for Mustard going over some of the, um, the specs. You'll hear some stuff that we just talked yeah, about. But if you're a gamer, if, if you have the same problem that we have trying to sort stuff, it's easy to open. I mean, it's almost a no-brainer. I, I like it because of the sorting. The sorting it, is crazy. Right. And it, my I'm hands, OCD. I have to keep everything. My hands fit in it perfect. Like there's no like usually because I got big hands. I'm like I'm, I'm like I'm, I can just reach one token. I can reach all my tokens. I can grab all the tokens in one little pouch. Yeah. Done. Out. Put it back in, nice and easy. Yep. And cinch it up. This thing is crazy. Because there's only so many Plano containers and everything else you can get for your friggin' tokens and dice. But when you when you're in tournaments, you can't carry those big Plano no. cases all over the place. I mean, you can. It's just a pain in the ass. That's true. I usually carry one little bag. I have my template tray mm -hmm. with my ships on top of it. And my bag is usually this bag. But again, I'm always dumping it out. Yeah. And I don't need everything that's in that bag. But I take it just in case. Because not every list has ions. So I don't have to take mm -hmm. it out or whatever. Now, now think about it too. All right. We're not we're not just gamers. Both of us are married. Yes. Where are you going with this one? Well, my wife could use this to put her jewelry in. Her oh, rings and stuff can go in the little pockets. Oh, Earrings go that. in the next one. Watches, bracelets. When you travel, I mean, the possibilities are really endless. We're trying to use this for gaming. It was designed for gaming. But if but you think about it, you can do so much more with this thing, man. Actually, that's not a bad idea. And it's got enough room, and, it's, and the material... Is awesome. That's like that suede. suede. Yeah, I love it. And it's got, he's got the this quality color, is awesome. Right, which is kind of like, what would you call this color? It's like a, not like a khaki. Well, but he's he's got them all listed out on the page. Okay. You know, I don't want to get it it's wrong. Gray. I know it's a gray version and there's also a, like a light. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, he's got a troll, what he calls the troll hide. He's got the Cyclops hull, uh, husk. husk, goblin skin, Looks which like is probably round. this one. Um, Ogre's Pelt. Now, they're, they're named after gaming. Yes. 
because uh, that's titanium dragon which because is that is dragon. what they were designed and for floral but salt. you got, know oh wow he's got a whole bunch of more too. oh dude these, it's it's awesome <laughs> so go check it out yes. the links are below let us know what you think about it and um help support somebody who's got an awesome product yeah this is pretty cool mustard's motto is power to the player yeah he wants to give people who enjoy their gaming, who enjoy their sport, whatever you name it, awesome stuff yep. that he would use. We're talking about it because it's something we would use. As we've told you guys before in our other videos, if we don't like it, we'll tell you. If we love it, we're going to rant and rave about it. Yes. Here you go. Here's something we I'm ranting and raving about. I'm actually waiting to get mine so I can switch everything from this bag <laughs> to that. <laughs> Actually, can, I'm I not, keep, I'm not, can I keep that? No, I'm. I'm damn I'm, it! I, he said he needed it back, but yeah, he's not gonna get it back. I'm, <laughs> he's I'm, not gonna I'm keep it this one. I would like a gray one. So I'll give you the money for it. Sorry, <laughs> but it, it's mine. All right. All right. Well, this is another edition of Sling Paint Gaming. Again, we just like sharing products, cool things that we see out in the tournament area, gaming area, and just gaming industry altogether, yep. not just X-wing. Yep. Let us know what you think, and um, we'll come back to you next time. We've got something else. And make sure you subscribe to our channel, like our Facebook, check out our store for tokens and stuff. And you know what? Maybe we can get some of these on our store. Yeah. I was actually thinking, we were talking about, maybe we can get some custom branded sling paint stuff. Mm. Mm. Pretty cool. Yes. All right. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned. Bye.